Hi guys. Here we are. Um, it is another blah, gray, just yuck, depressing Monday morning. Monday morning here in the end times. <clears throat> in the former paradise and now pretty much the open sewer of uh, the South Austin Green Belt along the banks of the former Williamson Creek in South Austin, Texas uh, here on this Monday morning October 8th 2018 which I guess they're officially calling Columbus Day, which of course was not October 8th. I will see if I can uh, cobble together my annual Columbus Day rant for the real Columbus Day on October 12th. But anyway, right now it's a Monday morning and I'm getting ready for my my first date, my first and possibly only date on Pile of Fish dating service with this woman who apparently I went out with 12 years ago and have zero memory of this woman. Uh, so anyway, I've been dating this woman for 12 years. There you go. We have a long history together. You know, true love True love takes uh, time. True love takes time to, uh, you know, to mellow and blossom. You know, date every 12 years. Anyway, so of course, you know, this is what's on my mind as I, as I just walk with one foot, one fire ant scarred foot. Uh, on one side of the abyss and, you know, what's that, walking with your feet in two worlds and I am literally down here, this, this, is, this is hardly even a metaphor for walking uh, in two worlds and so for the past hour, I've been uh, doing the mainstream media roundup of this unadulterated horseshit. Uh, one and a half C target from the IPCC. And I'm actually a little bit, uh, I don't know, is, do you use the word encouraged when you see the mainstream media? Actually, uh, I'm a little bit, well, I'm, I'm shocked that uh, the majority of the stories, at least that Yahoo News is running, uh, are, are not playing up the big lie that we have any chance whatsoever. Uh, maybe this is because one of Yahoo News' senior editors has, he has weighed in on this. And good for him. I can't remember the guy's name. I'll mention it in my roundup rant later. But good for him. I mean, the senior editor of Yahoo News knows we are national log. We are completely fucked. And so maybe that's part of the reason. So uh, it's now just in the mainstream media. Uh, all over Yahoo News, starting at the senior uh, leadership of Yahoo News, that, that we're fucked. And there's not a goddamn thing we're going to do about it. Uh, there it is. And so I am, so here I sit, like anyone else with a brain, realizing we are completely, intractably fucked. Uh, Global industrial civilization is fucked. Uh, humanity is fucked. And most importantly, every one of our fellow Earthlings we share this collapsing planet with is completely, utterly fucked. And what am I thinking about? 
uh, I'm thinking about uh, lunch uh, with with some woman that I've already uh, <coughs> met 12 years ago. Uh, <laughs> you know, talk about that been there, done that. And it's just... <laughs> And I, I realize the absolute hopeless absurdity of it. But, uh, I mean, even your old eco-Nazi. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm out walking the dog on Monday morning. Austin, Texas is cleaning up after the latest ACL fest where I guess 65,000 clueless morons were all packed in partying down at Zilker Park for the big annual ACL Fest. You know, everyone's just back to work, going back to work right on about their clueless fucking lives. Uh, here in Austin, Texas. Uh, on just another blah Monday morning in the end times. <sighs> at least it, I don't think it's going to be quite as hot today. I think we're looking at about 82 or 83, which I understand. Uh, I think Hugh Gisoli point keeping me abreast of the situation. I guess it's the same temperature in Austin, Texas today as it is in Iceland and somewhere in northern Siberia, I believe. Uh, same temperature, Austin, Texas, northern Siberia or Iceland on October the 8th. And, and, and then there's these other articles about all of the sea ice uh, up there in the Arctic, the early arrival of the sea ice. I am just fundamentally not understanding something. I, clearly, I, 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 am, I am missing something. Uh, you know, the, it, it's just gone completely fucking crazy. Uh, I mean, the entire planet is unraveling uh, around every one of us. You know, the, the single biggest story uh, in the history of humanity is unfolding in real time on the fucking mainstream media uh, on this Monday morning uh, in, in Austin, Texas, and there goes the FedEx truck. You know, we got the FedEx truck going one way and we got the lawn care truck going the other. But, you know, as my fortune cookie said on Saturday, enjoy yourself while you still can. I was just getting damn harder to do every day. Uh, uh, Williamson Creek, uh, this, you know, one of my good buddies was uh, born and raised on the banks of Williamson Creek. Uh, he's my age, so he was born born around let's call it let's call it 1960. And he tells me, and and I believe him that when he was a kid, that he used to go bass fishing here in this creek. That uh, this creek uh, it had a small mouth bass in it, and just how. In, you know, in the in the 1960s, this is just where little boys. Uh, I mean, this was paradise. And uh, as far as I can tell, no one's been down here all damn summer. Uh, here's another of these spray paint cans. Here's the newest litter that I see all along down here around this bridge where these homeless people hang out and, and huff 
they're enjoying themselves huffing spray paint. So anyway, I have to go figure out what I'm going to talk about with my with this woman on our second date in 12 years since obviously uh, the first date I had with this woman 12 years ago made such a big impression on me. Oh, and this is... <laughs> what is... And, and, and this shit with these, with trees just falling over. I, I mean, look at this. This was a, the leaves are still on it. This was a, a big, obviously not healthy cedar elm. And just, as I say, I, I, this is the same kind of tree that I just was sawing up just up the creek here. Uh, about an, about a quarter mile from here, another cedar elm, just a, a full-grown tree, just snapping off and and falling over. Uh, I guess this tree just said, "Fuck it." <sighs> but the goddamn ligustrum. Seems pretty healthy, at least, I guess. Anyway, I don't know, you know what I'm rambling about. It's just... Uh... Oh, Jesus. Okay. I've got to put on my, my smiley face and... I would like to, I'm not going to do it, I would almost like to secretly record my lunch conversation with uh, this woman from Pile of Fish Dating Service, who I'm sure is a very nice woman. She is a, says she is a fan of Terrence McKenna. Of course, 12 years ago, I had never heard of Terrence McKenna. Uh, So, uh, maybe we'll have something different to talk about. Uh, so, we will see if she mentions the IPC, IPCC report or not. Let's see. I'm going to sit there and see how long it takes her to mention the IPCC report or how long it's going to be before she checks her smartphone during our date. I'm gonna guess, okay, here's my great prediction that uh, she will not mention the IPCC report. I might have to mention it at some point just to see if she has ever heard of it. Uh, that's prediction number one, the IPCC report will not be a topic of conversation. And my guess, will she make it 20 minutes? This woman, I'm gonna give her 22 minutes before she checks her smartphone while uh, probably checking in with some other guy from Pile of Fish. Oh, Jesus, we are so fucked. Anyway, and then it's time to get back to Garfield, Texas. Get out of the big city and head back to Garfield, Texas because I forgot to plant my cabbage and carrots. Well, I forgot to buy the seeds, so I got to get back home to plant my organic cabbage and carrots to uh, feed me in the end times. Smoke them if you got them. Enjoy yourself while you can. Bye, guys. Oh, I see this tree is now dead. This live oak. This live oak tree is now a dead oak tree.
I guess it just got banged up enough times. So this tree is getting ready to fall over. So that tree, that live oak tree is dead. Oh, and then we go 30 feet from that tree. This live oak tree has given up the ghost. It is dead. Getting ready to come tumbling into the ground. But look at these legustrums. Look at these invasive species. They're doing just fine. There will be winners and losers. The invaders will be the winners. The, uh, the natives will be the losers. And I think that is a fine place to uh, wrap up this dog walking on Columbus Day in the end times. Looking at the natives being the losers. Bye guys.